Hi, I'm Scott Hunter, Risk Manager for Alicomp. I'd like to thank you for joining us for the third and last video in this machine guarding video series. Today we're going to quickly touch on a couple of common types of safety barriers. Uh, the two most common types that we're going to talk about that we see uh, as we're doing site visits with customers are light barriers and uh, interlocks. Now a light barrier is used to safeguard personnel uh, around moving equipment or machinery uh, that has the potential to cause harm. Uh, some examples of this are going to be presses and palletizers. Uh, once the light curtain has been broken by hand, body, whatever, then the machine should cease to function immediately. One thing to check for when you're doing your daily inspections of your light curtains is when that light curtain's broken, you want to make sure that that machine's not finishing through its cycle or, or, or cycling through the repetition that it's in. You want to make sure that it ceases to function as soon as the barrier is broken. Uh, the second device that we're going to touch on is going to be interlocks. Uh, interlocks prevent hazardous machines from operating uh, under certain specified conditions, typically when uh, uh, the guard's not closed. Uh, some examples of interlocks that you use in everyday life are going to be microwave doors. Your microwave's not going to operate as long as that microwave door is open. So once it's closed, the interlock activates and you're able to start the microwave. Uh, the second is the feature of some of the newer washing machines that you see where you can't uh, open the door or a cycle is not going to start until the door is uh, closed and locked. Those are, those are examples of interlocks. Uh, now, it's the best practice to make sure that you're checking all of your safety devices uh, daily at the start of each shift. They should be part of your startup process. Uh, make sure that you have a, uh, a safety feature in your daily inspections. Uh, check and make sure that those light curtains, interlocks, any other safety guards, safety barriers are, are in their proper place and, and fu functioning properly before putting that machine into use each day. I want to thank you for watching this uh, video series on machine guarding. Again, I'm Scott Hunter, Risk Manager for Alicomp. I uh, want to make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have more questions, contact anyone in the loss control department at Alicomp. Uh, and as always, make sure you check out the Alicomp online safety library. You can find more uh, information on the machine guarding uh, topic under the machine guarding heading as well as under the lockout tagout heading. Again, we thank you for watching.